This is Twit. Have you seen any crazy things either at Maker Fair or what, what's one of your favorite Arduino based projects that you've seen? <laughs> oh, God, you must have seen a thousand. <laughs> yes, it's becoming increasingly difficult to have a favorite product yeah. because the, the project because there's so many of them. I think there's a lot of pro uh, interesting projects that are less funny, but they're very uh, substantial. Like people who are making, you know, machines that analyze DNA based on Arduino that are open source as well. Wow. So with five hundred dollars, you build one of the parts that you need into the sort of DNA analysis process or people who've made you know flying helicopters that kind of fly by themselves based on, on arduino that's the whole um uh, diy drones community that's run by chris anderson that used to run uh, wired magazine and um or people uh, who are making all these open source 3D printers. So those are amazing stuff because we have open source and cheap ways of doing things that a few years ago were proprietary incredibly expensive. And obviously you find also the the chair that tweets whenever you fart. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I hope somebody didn't really do that, did they? Oh, they did. They did. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there was also an Arduino-based project where I think I saw around the same time was somebody who hooked it up to Twitter. Uh, it was attached to a honeymooning couple's bed. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Oh, I believe yes. that was Arduino. Yeah. It tweeted every time oh, yes. the squeak. Yeah, that yeah, kind it, of it, project happened all the time. The duration.